Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest-looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. That gas truck could blow at any second. Has anyone seen my gas truck? Gas truck's stable enough to get somewhere safe for unloading. Thank you, long-lasting webs. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely! Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. <laughs> Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. Find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, it's Spider Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue, so they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. It's gonna be okay. Ah! Ah! <sighs> I mean... Whoa. Well, time to test out my pulse blast, then. any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. One of those breathing exercises again?
location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. Send a new location your way, but this guy said someone else is still trapped. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Nobody here. Mention the flame. I just, I just want it out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in. Painfully. Whoa, 
Guys, can we take this outside? Ah! Is everyone okay? Besides me knocking you out, obviously. We are better than you ever will be. Who are you people? The only ones worthy enough to survive what's coming. Pretty sure this building is gonna fall apart before then! A fine test, Spider-Man! Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri. Little life's call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried... Where have you been? What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her, and the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... Uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. <sighs> Especially that French one. Sometimes you're just too romantic. I'll talk to you later.
was wondering what this place was. This was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. <sighs> you know... Seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, I just checked in on Dan and Annie. They're both doing Here, great. follow me. That data does not cross tabulate with the entire learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were trained to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Yep. Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive. You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying on. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. 
Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. Must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. Welcome to space research. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. See what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. The need for medical organ transplants far outnumbers available donors. An innovative solution uses 3D printing technology to create custom replacement organs, decreasing the likelihood of transplant rejection and increasing the chances of a successful outcome. Here at the Emily May Foundation, this cutting edge work is being put to use saving lives. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultra light drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. John, you have a visitor in the lobby area. Beehives show complex group decision making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. 
The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Imagine coming to work here every day. Feels almost too good to be true. Could start paying off the mortgage. Uh, but what if Spidey work gets in the way? Gotta think this through before signing on. Particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Come back and check the humidity I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm-hmm. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great, now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized, but ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course.
Let's see. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off -y. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? You guys who took Lee and Scorpion? 
Genki and I track the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me. Your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Dana casters. I've seen the questions about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, aka apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborne, your foundation has a lot of work to do repairing your father's legacy, but so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever, do you. Later. Definitely work. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing their last. Yeah, yeah. you're Wait finished now. There. department can tag in now. going that fast. You shut 
sure you want to do this? Okay. Think you got it, huh? Rush. And such better cardio than just jogging around the block. All right. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out in this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh yeah, I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks, see you around. Hey, Miles, over here. Hey, Whew. you made it. <laughs> Mr. Atlas isn't here yet. I want to talk to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something from her car and then never came back. Is something wrong? I just heard two words. Missing in person, so I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. any texts coming in or any here we go some notifications from her fitness tracker it's counting her steps wherever she is the students adore miss ferguson i hope she's all right please find her we'll do our best miss ferguson's missing oh, man sounds like she's still wearing our fitness tracker wonder if i could find that signal All right, let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man! Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Hey, yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. 
I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is, uh, now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production, but it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy, someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. And I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... uh that... could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to me in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person. Let's clarify some things. Yeah. Those guys out of the way. Let's see where that tracker signal leads. This signal should lead right to Miss Ferguson's fitness tracker. for Rand. Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. <laughs> you hide. I've got these guys. There she is.
out by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. to Spider-Man. Our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. <laughs> Got a few app requests popping up on BB's campus. Thought I'd call you directly. <laughs> 